Hi, I'm Nick Moore. I'm Production Director from a company called Mindset Communications and we do live events, conferences and video production. Hi, I'm James Hearn at the Rygate School of Arts. Uh, I'm currently studying film and TV. What general skills do young people need when starting their first job? Obviously qualifications are very important but I think that you know uh, a lot of confidence and uh, if you show a really great attitude you can be part of a team um, and that uh, yeah just generally sort of confidence and uh, being able to mingle with people who are more senior than you, uh, maybe older, a bit more experienced, that, that's what we really look for uh, as an employer. What are the most important uh, employability skills in your opinion? Weirdly, I look less myself for grades yeah. and I, I definitely look more about what they've gone and done in the free time, um, whether they've gone and taken the job that they're applying for and done that in their own time or maybe over summer because it kind of shows me that they're interested in the job uh, rather than the fact that they've got you know, grade A's yeah. across the board. What qualifications and experiences would a young person need to have to increase uh, their chances in getting a job in your sector? Uh, English is, is obviously very, very important because you're going to have to do a lot of proposal writing uh, and email writing and dealing with clients. Maybe maths and arithmetic, fine, great. But less about your geography and history, it's more about your art, uh, maybe music, uh, photography, anything like that that shows that you've got particularly creative skill, yeah. that's what we need. What are the minimum qualifications needed to work in companies in your sector? You hire for attitude and then you train for skill. And it really is that if somebody's coming for an interview and they can demonstrate to me that they can work with me, they have the confidence to talk to me because I'm also probably not as, as young as they are, uh, they're not intimidated by the age gap or the level of seniority, the fact that I own my own business. If they can talk to me as a bit of an equal and show me that they're passionate about the job and that they will contribute to my company, they've almost got the job there and then. What's the routes into your career? Um, A-levels, college, on-job, training, uh, apprenticeships? We tend to take people more out of college because they're a little bit older. Um, and I think that uh, if they've shown that maybe they've gone and done a friend's wedding video or let's say they've gone down the local skate park and done you know, a really cool uh, urban video for the mates and they can show me that they've got that passion, that's absolutely fantastic. What are the different entry levels uh, to get into the career sector? Um, and what can I expect the progression routes to be? So once you've got a job at the company, then what happens is that we then put you through quite intensive training. Uh, half of that is to train you up to do things how I want it done, because yeah. obviously I've got 20 years of corporate uh, experience. Uh, so a lot of that will be out in the field, working with myself or with other directors and producers. Use a lot of uh, uh, online video-based training courses like lynda.com and totaltraining.com. And what we'll do is we'll put our employees through that particular training program, let them go off for two or three days, yeah. get trained up in After Effects or in Adobe Premiere or whatever the, the skill may be. And we found that that's a really, really good way so that they, they, you know, at the end of the training program, they do it as it needs to be done in the corporate sector and the, you know, the, they've added to their, their own skill sets as well.